Hi everyone, how are you? And I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to talk about the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've been using this phone for the past two weeks and wanted to share my experience. I know this is not a new phone. It came out last year in September. And in a few months, you will get the iPhone 16 Pro Max. But still, I wanted to talk to you about whether you can go ahead and buy this phone in 2024 at this stage when you know the next iPhone is just a few months away. I wanted to try this because I have not been using iPhones for the past two years. My last iPhone was iPhone 13 Pro Max, I mean the flagship iPhone. I did use the iPhone 14 Plus for a bit, but now it's with my wife because I did not like it because of you know lack of 60 hertz and your yeah, battery life on that was awesome. Thank you for all the support so far on my videos and please do like and subscribe to my channel, like this video, put in comments so that you know the video reaches to more people and my channel grows. So first of all, as you know, I have been using the S24 Ultra. I am shooting this video on the S24 Ultra. So how has been my experience using this as my daily driver? I still I am still using the S24 Ultra, but that is more for you know my bank applications, my messages, WhatsApp. And this is my basically now work phone. So all my Outlook, Teams meeting, messages, work messages basically go via this phone. And I have been carrying both of them with me to work and everywhere else. So to start with, in terms of build quality, I am really lacking this. So this is basically lighter than the last year's 14 Pro Max or even before the 13 Pro Max. Those were like 214 grams. This is 221 grams. It is still heavy, but they have just shaved off enough weight to make it feel lighter. And because of the titanium frame, probably it also feels lighter. So it is not that heavy or like feels too big or bulky in the pocket and especially with the rounded corners. So the corners are rounded. So as you know, uh, S24 Ultra has the sharp boxy rectangular shape and the corners dig into your palm or your pocket. So this is a welcome break from that. And in terms of ergonomics, this is better than S24 Ultra. There's no doubt about that. And build quality, of course, both are the top of the line flagship phones. So both are similarly built. You won't find any uh, complaint with both of them. Now, in, but in terms of one design aspect that I still don't like on the iPhone is this dynamic island. All the other things, the bezels are symmetrical, very narrow. I have no complaints about the camera module or the design of the camera module. The titanium frame feels good in the hand. Now, one thing I don't like about the design of the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the dynamic island. Now, the Android phones are now coming with the punch hole cutout. Whereas this has the dynamic island, which feels like, you know, the pill shaped cutouts we had in Android phones back in 2018, 2019. You know, the S10 Plus, which was a very good phone. So even though, yeah, this technology is very good. You have the face ID, which is very secure. But somehow I think Apple needs to innovate further to ensure that this is somehow managed to reduce it to just a, a punch hole cutout, just like Android phones, rather than this long dynamic island. Because ultimately, though they have made software uh, to use this dynamic island, you know, you can get the timer, the uh, music playing can be shown here, the ongoing call. Well, I mean, there are a few things that this can do. But Overall, I think you can do away with those things. Those are not necessary. So yes, Apple, I think the next step for Apple is to just remove this dynamic island. Next up, how has been my experience in terms of the software? Yes, iOS is very mature. So I don't have any complaints in terms of the software. But iOS in itself, I always find it a bit limiting because it cannot give me that level of customization with Android can. Also like interacting with social media apps, I know you will say that the most of the apps probably work better on iOS. Maybe, maybe not. I have not faced any issue in my Android apps and I have neither faced any issue on the iOS apps also. But something like, you know, downloading a file, sharing it as an attachment, all those things, I find it much more convenient on Android phone compared to iPhone because iPhone, you sometimes, I need to search how do I download it because it's not a very easy Thing to find because you have to click on that file upload thing then save as pdf something like that each app has a different sort of uh, process to save the file 
in android is straightforward you just download it and you can then reattach it to another mail from the file explorer and you are done so that thing i miss when i am using ios also the widgets i think in my last video i also mentioned that these widgets they will show the next day's appointments meetings but they will not show the uh, you know the uh, day after appointments and meetings so basically these are the static widgets that will change day by day in android the widgets you can actually interact with them and you can scroll uh, past today's appointments or your tomorrow's appointment to see maybe two days later how many appointments you have so that is another type of flexibility that i have in uh, android but yeah i do not want to make this video about ios versus android but yeah those are not deal breakers i am actually liking the usage of iphone so all the apps work seamlessly it is again as you know iphone gives you a consistent performance not that s24 ultra was not giving me consistent performance that also gives you a consistent performance but this is a very consistent phone 120 hertz feels very smooth and somehow i feel reddit twitter probably they feel slightly smoother when you are scrolling on an iphone versus if you are scrolling on an android device any android device i am even considering s24 ultra it might seem smoother on ios i think that is what my perception is and what i have felt after using these phones for the past few weeks so again yeah that's this and in terms of battery life you can see 34 percent is remaining i basically charged it day before uh, not day before yesterday uh yesterday around 12 noon so basically we i am at around 32 hours in terms of total usage and my screen on time is around six hours so let me show you let's go to battery yeah last hour sunday 13 one if you can see and currently the time is 7 32 in the evening and basically it's the next day it's today's monday so yeah more than 30 hours and my screen on time is almost six hours so considering uh, i was out and about yesterday for like five to six hours and i was in the tube where there was no signal i was on 5g so it's actually very good screen on time if i would have been on wi-fi then probably i would have been not at 33 percent maybe at 43 44 percent probably 10 percent more so in terms of battery life nothing to complain about this is one of the best battery life you can find on a flagship phone same with s24 ultra both of them gives me around the same battery usage in terms of camera i actually clicked a few pics from both of them i am not going to compare them it's a personal preference so i think in some scenarios you might prefer iphone in some scenarios you will prefer s24 ultra so it's, it's comparable you won't go wrong with either but in terms of selfie that's a different ball game in terms of selfie i think if you are taking a selfie with iphone and the indoor lighting is not good then actually you will get a very bad picture you know your face will look like it's full of grain noise so i was taking a pic yesterday and i was standing next to a window and basically outside it was sunny so in those kind of scenarios iphone struggles a bit s24 ultra not so much in fact i took the same picture with nothing phone 2 and nothing phone 2 also did much better than the iphone so there's something going on there i don't think it's something wrong with the unit but my past experience with iphone has also been like that in some of the lighting situations especially when the indoor light is uh, not that good you're standing next to a window outside is bright those kind of scenarios is difficult for iphone selfie camera actually nothing phone 2a also did very well i am really liking nothing phone 2a selfie camera the rear camera i don't like because it is basically it's a budget phone so it cannot compete with iphones and s24 ultra but nothing point to a actually has a very good selfie camera so that is based on my personal experience so about the camera yes it's a completely personal preference in some scenarios you might like iphone picks better in some scenarios you might like s24 ultra's pick better if you ask me that which phone will you finally keep my answer is that i cannot uh, go away from s24 ultra because i absolutely love that phone it's something about that phone always keeps me you know bringing back bringing me back to using that phone so that's why because my earlier i was thinking that i will completely switch to iphone 15 pro max and my s24 ultra probably will be lying at home but i could not do that i then decided to use both phones together 
तो यप आई विल कंटिन्यू यूजिंग बोथ दी फोन प्रॉब्लम टिल दी आई फोन सिक्सटीन प्रो मैक्स कम्स आई विल देन चेंज दिस टू दिक्सटीन प्रो मैक्स एंड वेन दी एस ट्वेंटी फाइव अल्ट्रा कम्स देन आई विल मूव टू दी एस ट्वेंटी फाइव अल्ट्रा आई एम थिंग अबाउट वेदर टू गो फॉर ए फोल्ड और ए फ्लिप फोन और नॉट लेट सी एंड दी पिक्सल नाइन थ्री इज ऑल्सो लुक्स वेरी एक्साइटिंग तो लेट सी हाउ इट वर्क आउट तो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू शेयर माई थाट्स विथ यू हाउ हैज बीन माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ यूजिंग दी आई फोन फिफ्टीन प्रो मैक्स एक्चुअली यू कैन गेट आई फोन फिफ्टीन प्रो मैक्स एट सम डिस्काउंटेड रेट्स आई नो इन यू के दी प्राइजेस हैव बी रेड्यूस बाई अराउंड हंड्रेड पाउंड प्रॉब्लम इन ऑफलाइन चैनल्स यू माइट फाइंड इट फॉर इवन लेस और यू कैन गो फॉर ए रिफर्बिश्ड आई फोन बट आई डोंट नो अबाउट इंडिया आई थिंक इन इंडिया द अमेजोन ऑफ फ्लिपकार्ट सेल्स माइट बी कमिंग अप सो मे बी यू कैन गो फॉर दिस फोन वेन दो सेल्स कम अप बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग दो सेल्स देन दी प्राइजेज विल बी डेफिनेटली रेड्यूस्ड एंड सिक्सटीन प्रो मैक्स विल बी लॉन्चिंग सो डेफिनेटली विल बी एट लीस्ट एट द सेम प्राइज एज फिफ्टीन प्रो मैक्स वन इट वॉज लॉन्च आई डोंट नो वेदर दे विल इंक्रीज द प्राइज दिस ईयर और नॉट होपफुल नॉट लेट सी सो या दैट वॉज इट फ्रॉम माई साइड एंड अगेन प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो Yes